Hello and welcome to weekly current affair quiz. Let's start today's quiz. First question is which award is considered Asia's Nobel Award? Ramon Magsaysay Award, Pulitzer Award, Booker's Prize or Film Fair Award? The correct answer is option A, Ramon Magsaysay Award. Recently, oncologist Ravi Kannan has been named one of the four winners of the 2023 Ramon Magsaysay Award. This award is considered as Asia's premier prize and highest honor, the region's equivalent of the Nobel Prize. It is awarded annually to individuals or organizations from Asia region for their altruistic and philanthropic service. Next question is Global India AI Conference to be held later this year will be organized by Department of Science and Technology, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, IIT Bombay or Niti Aayog. The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology will be organizing the Global India AI 2023 scheduled for October this year. There will be participation from leading AI players, researchers, startups and investors in India and worldwide. The conference is poised to cover a wide spectrum of topics including next generation learning and foundational AI models, AI's applications in healthcare, governance and next generation electric vehicles, future AI research trends, AI computing systems, investment opportunities and nurturing AI talent. Next question is consider the following statements with reference to the special session of parliament. 1. It will be the 13th session of the 27th Lok Sabha and 2. 61st session of Rajya Sabha. 2. It will have 5 sittings. Which of the above given statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. The government will hold a special session of parliament from September 18 to 22. Special session of parliament that is 13th session of 17th Lok Sabha and 261st session of Rajya Sabha is being called from 18th to 22nd September having five settings. Next question is consider the following statements with reference to India's first solar powered cycling track. 1. It's called Health Way and it's the first of its kind. 2. This track is 23 kilometers long and has three lanes for cyclists. 3. It is inspired by the South Korean bike highway with solar panels. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, Hyderabad took the lead by creating a special cycling track that's safe and good for the environment. This unique cycling track is built near the outer ring road and is covered with solar panels. It's called Health Way and it is the first of its kind. This track is 23 kilometers long and has three lanes for cyclists. Inspired by the South Korean bike highway with solar panels, the aim is to ensure a better experience for cyclists. Next question is what was the theme for World Coconut Day 2023? Sustaining coconut sector for the present and future generation. Growing coconut for a better future and life. Building a safe, inclusive, resilient and sustainable coconut community or coconut for family wellness. The correct answer is option A. Sustaining coconut sector for the present and future generation. Every year World Coconut Day is celebrated on September 2nd in major coconut producing countries including India. This day aims to raise awareness about the use and benefits of coconuts across various industries. The theme for World Coconut Day 2023 is sustaining coconut sector for the present and future generation. Next question is which of the following statements about Dadabhai Naoroji is or are correct? 1. He was appointed a member of the Royal Commission on Indian Expenditure in 1895. 2. He presided over the annual sessions of the Indian National Congress. 3. He was a professor at Elphinstone College in Bombay. 4. He was a member of the Conservative Party of United Kingdom. Choose the correct option from the codes given below. 1, 2 and 4, 1, 2 and 3, 2, 3 and 4 or 1, 3 and 4. The correct answer is option B, 1, 2 and 3. Dadabhai Naoroji was born on September 4. 1825 Bombay, now Mumbai, India and died on June 30, 1917 in Bombay. Educated at Elphinstone College, Bombay, he was a professor of mathematics and natural philosophy there. He was appointed a member of the Royal Commission on Indian Expenditure in 1895. In 1886, 1893 and 1906, he also presided over the annual sessions of the Indian National Congress. Next question is which of the following has recently got the status of deemed to be university? NCERT, 
Patanjali University, Gurukul Kangri University or Delhi University? The correct answer is option A, NCERT. Recently, Union Minister for Education and Skill Development and Entrepreneurship attended the 63rd Foundation Day celebration of NCERT in New Delhi. Speaking on the occasion, Minister informed that NCERT has been given the status of a deemed to be university. NCERT is an autonomous organization set up in 1961 by the Government of India. Next question is Pirola, recently in news, is a COVID-19 variant, new edge species, Pacific Island country or superconductor? The correct answer is option A, COVID-19 variant. Recently, an article published in the Yale Medicine Review has noted the rise of COVID-19 infections in multiple countries driven by a new coronavirus variant called BA.2.86, which is informally being termed Pirola. The variant is reported to have more than 30 mutations to its spike protein compared to XBB.1.5, a variant of Omicron that had been the dominant strain in the United States. Next question is what prestigious award is given to outstanding educators in India for their exceptional contributions to the field of education? Bharat Ratna, Padma Bhushan, National Teachers Award or Arjun Award? The correct answer is option C, National Teachers Award. Recently, President of India conferred the National Teachers Award 2023 awardees on September 5 on the occasion of Teachers' Day, the birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. National Teachers Award recognizes exemplary educators in India. It is conferred annually to honor their dedication and impact on education. Next question is, who was the prominent Indian poet and writer known for her significant contributions to Hindi literature and women's empowerment? Sarojini Naidu, Kamla Das, Mahadevi Verma or Ismat Chuktai? The correct answer is option C, Mahadevi Verma. Mahadevi Verma died on September 11, 1987 in Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh. She was an Indian writer, activist and leading poet of the Chhayavad movement in Hindi literature. Her support for women's rights runs throughout her prose writings, many of which appeared in Chan, a women's magazine and were later compiled as a book, Shrinkla Ki Kadiyan. Next question is, what is the primary focus of International Literacy Day observed annually on September 8th? Celebrating famous authors, promoting literacy and education worldwide, encouraging digital literacy or recognizing outstanding educators. The correct answer is option B, promoting literacy and education worldwide. International Literacy Day is dedicated to promoting and raising awareness about literacy and education globally. It emphasizes the importance of literacy in achieving personal and societal development. Next question is, what does the term One Nation, One Election refer to in the context of Indian politics? A nationwide sports event, simultaneous elections for all levels of government, a campaign to promote unity among states or a holiday celebrated in all states simultaneously. The correct answer is option B, simultaneous elections for all levels of government. One Nation, One Election refers to the idea of holding elections for various levels of government such as Lok Sabha, State Assemblies and local bodies simultaneously rather than having them at different times as is currently practiced in India. The primary objective of this concept is to streamline the election process, reduce the cost of conducting elections and ensure that the focus of politicians and the public remains on governance and development rather than perpetual election campaigning. Next question is, what are Marut drones primarily used for? Weather forecasting, surveillance and reconnaissance, crop spraying or deep sea exploration? The correct answer is option B, surveillance and reconnaissance. Marut drones has secured type certification approvals from the Director General of Civil Aviation. It was given for its AG-365S Kisan drone for use in agriculture and also for drone pilot training given by the Remote Pilot Training Organization. Maru drones are commonly used for surveillance and reconnaissance purposes. They play a vital role in military and security operations. Next question is, according to the study published in the journal Science, why is the night sky getting 10% brighter every year? Increased use of traditional incandescent lighting, expansion of renewable energy sources, growth of cheaper, cleaner and brighter LED lighting or reduced urbanization in certain regions. The correct answer is option C, growth of cheaper, cleaner and brighter LED lighting. The study published in the journal Science reports that the night sky is getting 10% brighter every year and this phenomenon is attributed to the growth of cheaper, cleaner and brighter LED 
that is light emitting diode lighting led lighting has become increasingly popular due to its energy efficiency and longevity but its intense brightness and widespread adoption in urban areas contribute significantly to light pollution which erases our view of stars and celestial objects in the night sky next question is what environmental issue arises from the excessive extraction of water from underground sources leading to a lowering of the water table ocean acidification groundwater depletion air pollution or deforestation the correct answer is option b groundwater depletion as per the recent study published in the journal science advances the rate of groundwater depletion could triple by 2080 if indian farmers continue to draw groundwater at the current rate groundwater depletion is a critical issue caused by over extraction of water from underground aquifers it can lead to a range of environmental and socio economic problems including land subsidence and reduced water availability next question is recently discovered tomb in northern peru is how many years old 1000 years 2000 years 3000 years or 4000 years the correct answer is option c 3000 years archaeologists in northern peru have unearthed a 3000 year old tomb which they believe might have honored an elite religious leader in the andean country some 3 millennia ago it is dubbed as the priest of pacopampa it refers to the highland archaeological zone where the tomb was found Next question is what is the primary objective of the culture corridor G20 digital museum project as described in the news to exhibit the artifacts of all G20 member countries physically at a central location to promote a sense of shared cultural identity among G20 members and invitee countries to host an international conference on cultural heritage preservation or to explore the impact of digital technology on traditional museums The correct answer is option B to promote a sense of shared cultural identity among G20 members and invitee countries. The Culture Corridor G20 Digital Museum project aims to celebrate and represent the shared heritage of G20 members and invitee countries. It is based on India's G20 theme Vasudhaiv Kutumbakam and the Culture Working Group's campaign Culture Unites All. The primary objective of this project is to foster a sense of shared cultural identity, promote understanding and appreciation of diverse cultural expressions and serve as a platform for knowledge sharing, inclusivity and equality among G20 and invitee countries. Next question is what distinguishes the Dicraciosauridae family of sauropods from other long-necked sauropods? They had longer necks and tails. They were among the largest sauropods. They were unique in having shorter necks and tails or they lived during the late Cretaceous period. The correct answer is option C. They were unique in having shorter necks and tails. Recently scientists from IIT Roorkee have characterized dinosaur fossils from the Middle Jurassic period found in the Thar Desert near the Jaisalmer basin by the Geological Survey of India. Belonging to the family Dicraciosauridae and from the super family Diplodocidea, these fossils are the first Dicraciosaurid sauropods to have been found in India. Members of Dicraciosauridae family of sauropods including Tharosaurus were unique because they had smaller body sizes and shorter necks and tails compared to other long-necked sauropods. Next question is who is regarded as the father of modern Tamil literary style? Kalidas, Subramanya Bharati, Rabindranath Tagore or Valmiki? The correct answer is option B Subramanya Bharati. Subramanya Bharati is widely regarded as the father of modern Tamil literary style. He was a prominent Indian poet, writer and freedom fighter who made significant contributions to modern Tamil literature through his innovative and reform oriented approach to poetry. Last question is when is World Suicide Prevention Day observed globally each year? December 31st, September 10th, October 20th or February 14th? The correct answer is option B September 10th. World Suicide Prevention Day is observed on September 10th each year. This day serves as a global awareness event to raise awareness about the importance of suicide prevention, reduce stigma around mental health and promote resources and support for individuals at risk of suicide. So that's all for today. Do share your scores and reviews about the program. Thanks for watching.